A transparent mouth fell into a glass of water, and a girl drank it down. She felt a little dizzy after drinking it. Her body became invisible when she closed the curtains. Molly didn't know her body had changed and went to sleep. In the morning, she lifted the covers as usual. She picks up her cell phone and puts on her slippers to wash up. She grabbed her toothpaste and brushed her teeth and was shocked. Oh my god, where am I? Her sleepiness dissipated in a second. Her sister Cleo came to the door looking for Molly. But the bathroom was empty. She thought Molly was playing hide and seek. Was Molly in the shower? Or was Molly in the toilet? That's even more unlikely. Molly thought she was dreaming and tried to wash her face to wake up. It's totally normal. Her behavior also scared Cleo a lot. Molly rushed back to her room and grabbed her cell phone to call the police. Cleo stopped her and asked her how she was going to explain this to everyone. Molly thought she had a point. If they can't see her, they might think they're haunted. Cleo suddenly realized it might have something to do with the moth from last night. What would you do if you were invisible? Would you steal the chemistry teacher's microscope or take a boy's bear coat while he's in the bathroom? Cleo was doing a chemistry experiment at home when a moth flew over a reagent and caused it to change immediately. She was so surprised that she caught the moth and tried to study it. But when Cleo picked up the bottle to look at it, the moth had already disappeared. She was shocked. The glass bottle was shattered. She grabbed a net and tried to catch the damn moth. But in the end, it got away. What she didn't realize was that at night, the moth came back into the house and even flew into Molly's glass and turned her invisible. That's when Molly's boyfriend came over to surprise her. Cleo said Molly was now sick. While he was half believing it, Molly's weak voice came from upstairs. Molly's boyfriend had no choice but to return. Finally, they had solved a problem, but Molly has to go to the prom today. What can she do? She had the bright idea to put on a dress and makeup. Now everyone should be able to see her. But a minute later, her dress and shoes became invisible. Molly had to go to the ball. Then she thought she could ask Cleo to go to the party instead of her. Just have Cleo pretend to be her and get through the day. This woman drank a glass of contaminated water and became invisible. The dress she's wearing disappears with her. But Molly had to go to the ball today. So she had to get her sister Cleo to wear her dress and mask to the costume party. But Cleo doesn't have a driver's license. So Molly, the veteran driver, has to drive her? An old lady almost fainted at the sight of the new driverless car. Cleo was very calm and said hello. Cleo wanted to give up the adventure when she arrived at school. Molly said she could wear this mask so people wouldn't know she wasn't really Molly. That's ridiculous, but this time she wasn't recognized by anyone. She happily greeted everyone, even Molly's best friend and boyfriend didn't recognize her not being Molly. George was asking why she wasn't at school. All Cleo could say was, I'm sick. Then she rushed off to take care of the masquerade ball. Cleo was nervous about seeing all the people at the party. Luckily, Molly was there to show her how to act so she could get along with her friends. And said the words she'd been holding back. I'm an insignificant girl. Molly was touched by what she said and fell into deep thought. Then she rushed to the lab and stole the microscope. Actually, it's good that Molly is invisible now, because she could do anything without being detected. But she also overheard Carter's crush on Cleo. He's too embarrassed to tell Cleo how he feels. Molly was so happy when she found out that she jumped up and down and decided to give Cleo a helping hand. She puts on a bear and dresses up as Cleo to tell him how much she loves him. Carter can't accept this change of character for a moment and stands frowning in place. Molly saw that the bear costume was slowly becoming invisible, so she agreed to meet him tonight. Then she rushed to tell Cleo the good news. Don't blame me for not loving you. I'm trying to set you up with the person you love. But Cleo was a little incredulous about her behavior. And that's when George came in. He nearly fainted at the sight of the invisible bear costume. Cleo had to tell him the truth. He was still a little skeptical. It's probably not something anyone would believe. Cleo thought she was done for the day, but she didn't realize there was a baseball game. She used to gasp for air when she took the steps, and now she's running in a game. She was persuaded by Molly to take the field, but as soon as she stepped onto the field, she was hit in the forehead with a baseball. She'd never been so sore in her life, but she kept going and with the solidarity of her teammates, she was able to win the championship. The scary thing is that now her cells are slowly becoming invisible. If an antidote isn't developed by 12A, yeah, she'll be invisible forever. The three of them split up to do the experiment again. The sisters went to the park to look for moths, but there are not many moths in this winter. They managed to find one and it got away. 
and Molly got dirty. She couldn't hold back her anger any longer, and she took it out on Cleo. And now I'm gonna be invisible forever. You of all people can relate to that. It turned out that the sisters had been at odds for a long time. Molly is a sunny and lively girl, with a lot of good friends and a loving boyfriend. Cleo is the complete opposite. Cleo has always been a silent student, and doesn't like to communicate with others. She doesn't dare to confess her love, even when she meets someone she likes. Cleo is always the most unassuming person everywhere she goes. This time, Cleo spent a day in Molly's life and realized that it's really nice to have friends. Molly, who was ignored, felt a little bad. The two of them had a big fight and Molly left the park. It was then that Cleo realized that all these years Molly seemed happy, but she had suffered a lot. She kept apologizing to Molly and said what she had been holding back all along. I should have taken you to drink the delicious yogurt. A few minutes later, Molly caught them off and it suddenly appeared in front of her. The moment the sisters embraced, the dislike disappeared. With George's help, they began to repeat last night's experiment. Soon the moths became invisible. They realized that all they had to do was formulate an antidote to the potion and they'd be done. At 12 I, yeah, they finally developed the antidote. But when Molly drank the antidote, her body didn't react. Cleo remembered that Molly drank soda every day. So she added more soda to the antidote. After Molly drank it, her body began to manifest. Cleo spends time with Carter and becomes outgoing. It's a Disney comedy. It doesn't have any expensive sci-fi sequences, but the subject matter and the idea are original. But if you could be invisible, what would you like to do most? You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas.